Hello and welcome. In today's video, I decided to absolutely torture myself and do dot card paintings with cobalt violet and, you know, cobalt violet hue. That was kind of a bad decision. Let me tell you why. What is a dot card painting, you might ask? Well, let me tell you right now. A dot card painting is when you get a sample of paint, watercolor paint in this instance, from a company and they come as little dots on the little sheet of paper. Most people will just swatch this out. They'll add a little bit of water and kind of pull it over into a swatch and that's the end of it. But that's just too boring. So what I like to do, and especially because I get these dot cards, well, I stopped ordering them, but I used to get these dot cards from Autocano. I will link her channel below in the description box because she gives you a lot of paint on each dot card and you can make a whole painting from it because swatches are boring, paintings are interesting. Actually, swatches aren't that boring. For some reason, I love watching swatching videos, but whatever. Making a full painting with a dot card is just way more interesting to me. I get to get a way better feel for the paint and see that it's actually a brand and a color of that brand that I like. So let me show you some of the dot card paintings that I have done. I don't know if I should put this down on the screen, but here is one with all indigos. So I received a dot card from Autocano. They were all indigos and I did all these paintings. I will link that playlist up in the corner over there for you so you can catch all my dot card paintings because they're so much fun. But anyway, you do these little paintings with each dot card and you get a really good feel for what each color is like. Well, those aren't dot card paintings, hang on. Gotta skip a few pages. And then I did with the Indenthrine Blue and this has eight different varieties in it. So again, this is already linked in the corner for you, but you can see that you get a really good feel for the paint. And I love it, and I love it, and I love it. However, this time I chose Cobalt Violet. I knew this could be a problem. And it was, but I persisted. But let me tell you the story. This is the Cobalt Violet dot card that I started with by Otto Kano. Again, I will link that below. So I started this little cobalt violet dot card painting experiment back in November of last year. <laughs> but if you know anything about watercolor pigments, you know that cobalt violet is very hard to re-wet or there's just not a lot of pigment load in it. It's very, oh, I don't know, light, <laughs> fluffy, <laughs> whatever. So I did this little painting and could barely even make a painting out of it. So I brought the fine liner out and at least tried to make something out of the little tiny bit of color that I could have. That was with Daniel Smith. And then I tried it again using Holbein's Cobalt Violet Light. And you can see that all the paint I could get out of it. I could barely get a swatch there. Usually when I do these paintings, I do these little dot in water tests so that we know how it disperses in water, but there is not enough paint in cobalt violet to do that. So not gonna happen this time. These are the two that are done. I have four left and I will do those together with you on this video. Yeah, so I've done Daniel Smith and Holbein and I have Da Vinci, Schminka, Windsor and Newton, Sennelier, M. Graham, and Core left. Two down, six to go. Wish me luck because as you can tell, I gave up back in September, but I'm going to, I'm gonna finish this. There's no point doing this. Otherwise it must be finished. The job must be complete. And I know for me, I will never buy cobalt violet unless my tastes completely change in the future. Cobalt violet is not in my future. <laughs> However, we will finish this experiment. I am going to start with Da Vinci because I have a painting that I want to do that requires more paint and out of all the little dot card swatches that she gave me, this one I feel has the most paint. This core one is the next closest probably, but I wanna do this little painting, give or take, and I need a lot of pigment to get some of those darker colors, so we'll see how this goes. I have no high hopes for this. I started out with the masking fluid for the trees. I am not going to do the sleigh and the reindeer. It is way past time for that, but the stars and little stars are fine. So I started with the background and I could tell right away 
Not surprisingly, we have a problem. Let that dry, put another masking layer on, and this second layer, you can tell, you just can't. <laughs> there is nothing more to say. You just can't. I tried to get it thicker and it just pulls up the under layers. It's just a disaster. Here is the Da Vinci. I barely had enough paint to even make a painting. <laughs> it is really, really sad. Let's move on. Here we have M. Graham's Cobalt Violet, which is the same pigment as the one I just used with the Da Vinci, but in this one, I was able to make an actual painting. I felt like I had enough paint to do what I wanted to do, what I needed to do. I could even make a little water dispersion chart at the end. It was a miracle. So tell me the differences between these two PV14s for those of you in the know. Next, we have Core's Cobalt Violet. I had a lot of hopes for this because you guys know Core is my brand. <laughs> and while I was able to make a full painting, I was not able to layer like I had hoped. So sometimes with watercolor, you can layer and get a much deeper color, not with this. But I was able to do a water dispersion test at least. Next up was Schminka's Cobalt Violet Hue. And you can tell right from the beginning that this is not a Cobalt Violet. Like we think of Cobalt Violet, it's definitely very purpley if that's even a word, but whatever. You can see I am trying to do some layers and put a little boat there and still having not a lot of luck with that. Not a lot of pigment, but was able to do a water dispersion test. Next up, we have Windsor & Newton's Cobalt Violet. This is more the color that we think of with Cobalt Violet and it did act very much like Cobalt Violet, not being able to layer. I did try the dotting method of trying to get thicker colors on, which works in a lot of cases, but didn't work so great in this, but I was able to get some likenesses of trees. Next up was Sennelier's Cobalt Violet Light Hue, and this is a hue, and you can tell right off the bat that it's a hue because I had no trouble having the right amount of paint to do an actual painting, and this is just something I kind of made up. I was getting a little tired of Cobalt Violet at this point, but I think I like what I did overall, and you can see there's plenty of paint here. I had no issues with that. Could even do a dispersion test and all the usual stuff. And to try to make them look like something in this sketchbook, at least, when I go back and look at it in the future, I brought out the liner. This was a Sharpie I already had on my desk, so no big deal. Hopefully it's okay to use in here. <laughs> and outlined them all. Even if they didn't need outlined, I outlined them just to make them cohesive and look similar, I guess. So that's what I ended up with. And if you ask me to pick my favorite, I can't. I don't like any of them. Well, that was fun. Anyway, there is Cobalt Violet and Cobalt Violet Hue and whatever those other colors were that were very off kilter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Next time we will be doing a dot card that is way more pigmented, a lot easier, a lot more enjoyable. So thank you very much for joining me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome. And today, today, <laughs> where was that going? I don't know. Okay, we need to start all, all over. Daddy. Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will be doing. Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will be doing dot cards for no. I will not be doing dot cards. I will be doing dot card paintings. Take 700. <laughs> What is a dark card? <clears throat> oh, why do you come visit me every time I talk to the camera? What is a dark card painting you might ask? Well, let me tell you right now. Bo, 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 bo. But instead, most people, okay. <laughs> Little sheet of paper. Most people just like water these and add some water. Oh my gosh, water and add some water, duh. <laughs> Okay, I'm dying here. Uh, no. And you get to, hmm. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Okay. Get back in there. Dot card painting, uh. And then I did it with the Indendrine Bloat. Mm hmm.